What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be pulling the side molding off of the white first gen. Uh, it's a fairly easy process, so I'm just going to show you how to do it, maybe time lapse a little bit of it. Um, so if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll touch up at the end of the video and tell you a little bit of the differences between some of the years that you might run into as well. So let's get into it. So to remove the adhesive that's left behind after you pull the molding off, you'll need one of these. It's called an eraser wheel. I'll put a link in the description below uh, to where to get them. They're not super expensive on Amazon, so look down there for that. So when you pull the molding off, there's usually just a little bit of, of adhesive left there. Um, this doesn't have white paint underneath of it so we'll have to touch that up but you can see this piece is already starting to peel off if you have difficulty getting it off uh, you can use a little bit of heat i'll probably use a scraper and kind of stick it in there to pry it off a little bit being very gentle with it um, right here you can see there's another piece that's already fallen off so let me i'll time lapse just a little bit of me wheeling off this stuff so you guys can see it and then I'll give you an update and then I, I will just do the rest on my own and show you the end result. So let's get started on that. All right, let me show you guys what the result is. Now this is on the bed. The bed is uh, not the same bed that came on the truck. And you can tell it's just a little bit more beat up. But there's, without any of the rubber on there. And this is not typical. This is just because this bed's so beat up and it's been sitting in the sun so many years, it kind of peeled a little bit of the paint. But we're gonna have to touch this up anyways since uh, it's silver so anyways that's how it works uh, very easy just take your time the wheel gets hot as you go um, so don't touch it after you stop wheeling it and uh, I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna do the other spot that is missing the molding and see how that turns out and then see about taking the other molding off and doing it there too so I won't put you guys through that but I'll show you the update in just a minute all right, so real quick, let me show you how to pull the old molding off. I'm about to pull another piece off, so. Okay, I've got my scraper. Just kind of get it in there. Give it a little pressure pulling out.
and then it just kind of pulls off nicely so I'm gonna finish pulling this one off and then eraser wheel it all right so that piece worked out really nice honestly it seems like if the molding is still on there and you pull it off it comes off much cleaner and easier with the eraser wheel whereas the spots where the molding had fallen off seemed like it took a little more work to get it off there you go that's how you do that all right guys i got all that molding off except for that piece right there um just so you know this piece and then the very front piece there's three clips that actually clip into the panel so you'll be left with a hole so you have to uh, weld the back into it and then uh, fill it up and repaint it so that'll be another project it's getting windy so i figured i'd end this now um, also i'm gonna step into the garage because the wind so if your truck is an 89, a 90, or the first half of 91, uh, you're going to have a little bit different trim, and your trim is held on differently. There's actually little studs welded onto the panels with clips that go on there, and they're spaced, I don't know what it is, every 12 or 18 inches. Um, so if you're going to remove your molding, it's going to be a little bit more of a process because you're going to have to grind those studs off and then do some body work there. But I thought I'd show you guys this. Some people haven't seen what it takes to take the molding off. I'm not a big fan of the molding most of the time unless it's clean. Uh, if you're wanting to replace the molding, you can't buy it new from uh, Dodge anymore. The best place to get it is from LMC Trucks and basically what they've done, they found out the secret that's been around for a, a while is uh, the old Chevy C10 pickups um, or S10 pickups. I don't know what it was from the early 90s use almost identical molding it's not quite the same so they started selling that as a uh, replacement molding and it works really well and they sell it just as cheap as anywhere else you can find so that's the place i'd buy it if i was going to replace it i'm not going to replace it on this truck though so hope you enjoyed the video remember to subscribe we got more work coming on uh, the white truck on the crew cab as well right here behind me thanks for your support and we'll see you guys in the next video